Stretching canvas can be fairly simple once you get the hang of it. Let us show you how. First, you'll want to make sure that you have the proper tools for stretching canvas. Assemble your stretcher bars. If there are ridges on both sides, it doesn't matter which side you use. If there is a ridge on one side only, that's the side you'll want to put against the back of your print. Once you've assembled your stretcher bars and the connections are nice and snug, take some sandpaper and smooth over the corners. This will ensure that the canvas is not damaged. Line up your edges and make small marks on the back of your canvas. This will help you line up your print and center it properly before stretching. Trim the edges of your print to make it easier to work with, allowing enough space to still wrap the canvas around the stretcher bars. You may want to place a soft cloth over your table. This will prevent any scuffing of the print during the stretching process. The first few staples you put into your canvas are the most important. Start by stretching one edge of the canvas and placing a staple in the center. Place another staple on either end of the center staple. Stretch the canvas over the opposite edge. This is where you want to make sure that the canvas is nice and snug, placing a staple in the center. Again, place another staple on either end of the center staple. Now you can do the other two sides. Repeat the process going around the frame. Continue until you are almost at the corners. Corners can be folded in many different ways. We've slowed down the video to hopefully help you see how we decided to stretch our corners. Generally you want to fold about a 45 degree angle across the corner of your frame. Once you are happy with the fold, place a staple in the canvas. With the corner now secure, you can fold over the rest of the canvas to fasten the rest of the edge. 